initially I was moving more towards art college um, and went visited um, Duncan and Jordison College of Art degree show and they had a, a strong architecture and planning section there and I liked what I saw and it interested me so that's, that was when I moved more towards architecture rather than art. Two different routes I suppose. In the 90s I studied for a year in Australia at the University of Queensland and got involved in a project where we did uh, surveying and documentation of traditional timber churches um, which were built by immigrants from Ireland and England during the 19th century. So there are little timber churches that are built in a typically English Gothic style but quite compact and scaled down. Um, so that was my first real experience of working with historic buildings and, and documenting them and researching them. And then when I came back to Scotland, I worked for Angus Council, who have got a, a big traditional housing stock, um, so got quite involved in working with traditional buildings with them. In fact, it's a complex of buildings built over a period of time um, with different techniques and materials used. Um, I also set within the wider landscape of the, the country park. Um, but a big interest was the fact that it's open to the public uh, and that there's a, a strong community involvement and a strong community feel to the project as well. A certain number of outcomes that were uh, key to the project, the community involvement, accessibility, delivering um, <coughs> community benefits were important. So. Uh, we were trying to, although the building itself couldn't be made fully accessible, we were trying to make sure that uh, people with accessibility issues could experience a lot of the, the castle. So um, we've created a zone in the bottom of the keep where you can uh, view the collections without, throughout the um, castle and the palace. We created a sensory garden which is based on the uh, original kitchen garden from the, the castle to give, um, again, a, a wider sensory experience to people with sight, sound, smell, taste, that kind of thing. Um, and we also wanted the courtyard to be more of a hub for the castle, uh, so it's a, an orientation point where people can gather in the centre of the complex and decide where they want to go, there'll be activities in the courtyard um, to try and just bring a bit of life to the, the space itself. <laughs> work is always a challenge. Uh, you don't uncover the problems until you start the work quite often. Um, part of the project has been to renew all the services within the building, which can be a challenge because you're trying to use uh, existing routes which aren't always accessible. A lot of the services were built into the, the masonry walls um, and you're trying to do it in a very unobtrusive way, so you don't want to be ripping out grade A listed finishes so it's a bit of a softly, softly approach where you have to do a little bit of investigation, see what you find, work a little bit out and then go back to it and, and carry out more investigations. So um, that took a bit of time at the start, but I think I think the, it's been very successful actually, the integration of the services into both the palace and the keep. Develop your awareness of your surroundings and what you like and what you don't like about buildings that you visit what works and what doesn't work, um, take lots of photographs, do lots of sketches and drawings and um, there are lots of good CPD events that are available in the area that are for free that you can go and see with the Glasgow City Heritage Trust or whatever, so lots of opportunities to get involved and decide if architecture is for you. Mm -hmm.